free, serving it through. Munster nearly there on a try. Jonathan Bell is in in the corner. This is getting the home crowd more excited. Edward though took his eye off the ball, and that's hacked through by David Humphreys. A chase back with Tom Malolo. Can Humphreys get the ball? Will it bounce nicely for him? And he's got it. David Humphreys gets the try. Bill Hayward looking. Yeah, but he's only found David Humphreys, who must be in for his second try. Absolute delight. Well, there's a strong, strong breeze behind Simon Mason, but what a distance away it is. He's got hold of that. What a stunning kick. Well, can he do no wrong whatsoever? Kazalbu again. Good switching. Ouzier, the danger man. He's got away. Ouzier, that look forward. This is going to be a race for the line. Michel Marfang. Marfang's not going to get caught. Here comes Cunningham. Marfang's made it. Andy Ward, the Kiwi from Bell on a Hinge. Good tackle by Bello. This is a great spell by... Oh, so here goes Mason. Wonderful stuff by Mason. Kazalbu. Looking for the run, well won by Rensburg, he must be in! Extraordinary score! Gulps of uh, cold Belfast air. That's a very good kick. No mistake with that. So it's 29 to Ulster, 24 to lose. One try between them. That's better stuff. Andy Ward pinches it. Play on, says the referee. Ward! has come away with the ball, he's got to keep possession. Wonderful stuff by Ulster, they've stolen away from the line. Blair, great tackling by Toulouse. Blair lays it back. Bell, keep it tight. Bell really thumped off the ball, that was unnecessary. Toulouse churning forward. Espana in there again. Ulster desperate to throw everything into defence. The referee has let it go. Delo, little dummy, through the gap. Wonderful tackle that was by David Humphreys. He really has had a captain's role. Ulster, I think, have stolen that ball. Bell, Van Rensburg, needs some help. White shirts in there in abundance. Referee says it's all over. Ulster have won one of the most famous victories here at Raven Hill in the last couple of decades. Who would have thought that Ulster would have beaten the team that won the very first European Cup? But what was even more unpredictable was that Toulouse in their next game would go down away to Ebbe Vale, putting Ulster in the position of going to Edinburgh, knowing that a draw would be enough to ensure qualification for the knockout stages and a victory would guarantee Ulster a home draw in the quarter-finals. It was all to play for at Meyerside in Edinburgh. And it's Simon Mason, the top point scorer in the European Cup so far this season with the restart. And straight away, it was Big Brown Rennick who took it on for the Reavers. And that's just what Ulster wanted. Edinburgh holding on to the ball in the tackle. Simon Mason, up until this weekend, leading the point scoring in the European Cup competition with 84 points from five games to date. And this could well give Ulster the start they really have come here looking for. Just a wee bit to the right of the post. Leisurely swing. He's got underneath it as he chipped it in. The flags go up. We've had just over a minute of play. And Simon Mason has put Ulster 3-0 up. Now, I've also rehearsed this one well. Humphreys. Van Rensburg is very strong. He's left it behind. That's good driving. It's still there for Ulster. Mark Blair's not too far away. Ulster forwards two, three metres away. Bell switches it nicely. Mason, Mason for the line. Has he got over? He hasn't. That was a good tackle put in by Jamie Mayer. Still there for Ulster, and they've won the penalty. Edinburgh coming in from the wrong side. But Simon Mason has been at the heart of everything successful that Ulster have done this season, and he was nearly across that line. And Mason has punished it. 11 minutes gone. Three more points for Simon Mason. Three more points for Ulster. Edinburgh nil and Ulster six. Edinburgh shunting forward before the ball's put in. Controlled in the middle of the back row by Brian Rennick. Red path on the narrow side looking for a gap. And he couldn't quite get inside McKinty. Ulster have conceded the penalty. Stephen McKinty did very well because Brian Redpath is uh, exceptionally quick. Look at McKinty. Off he comes. Redpath nearly away. Terrific tackle. Into a little bit of a breeze. 
Is that a good contact? It certainly is. Mason, a little bit far. Well taken in by Edinburgh. Good tackle there by Rab Irwin. Mark Blair's got a bang in the head. Chalmers. Oh, that's a nasty hanging kick. And the Ulster back line hadn't retreated 10 metres. And this, I think, will present Chalmers with an even more straightforward chance of three points. Craig Chalmers with one kick out of uh, three attempts, one successful kick from three attempts. Simon Mason's had two from two. And that's the difference between the sides. And although this is a fair old way out, it's more or less dead straight in front of the post. And all he's got to do is keep it straight. Lovely contact, lovely kick, up go the flags. There's a lovely sight for Edinburgh supporters. And uh, almost 29 minutes played, and Edinburgh back on level terms. It's Edinburgh 6 and Ulster 6, and the game ever so slightly turning in favour of Edinburgh Reavers. This is McKelvey, the hooker. Gets past uh, Richie Weir, with whom he had the dust up a few minutes ago. Great work by Edinburgh. Ulster can't afford to concede any penalties here. It's Tate looking for the gap. He's floated that nicely wide. This is Sinclair. Lovely transfer to Stanger. Stanger's in. What a magnificent try by Edinburgh. The last thing Ulster really wanted and everything that Edinburgh wanted. And what a time to do it as halftime beckons. Now, how many times has this big fella shown opposition? Defence is a clean pair of heels. It was the quick ball. It was the initial little thrust by Tate, and he timed the pass nicely. And lurking out wide was Ian Sinker. He delivered. Jan Cunningham got to Stanger, but Stanger got to the line. Once again, good Edinburgh control. Red path, Chammers, red path. Good tackle by Jonathan Bell, who's been a road bulwark. That's taken on by the massive New Zealander Mather. Jonathan Bell, I think, has got himself hurt in that. In fact, it's uh, a chance here for Stanger. Puts the ball wide. This is Cameron Murray. Murray gets the try. That could well be a decisive blow for Edinburgh. I don't know that Ulster have got the resources to come back. It was the quick release ball by the forwards. And the transfer had to be slick, and the transfer was slick. Lovely hand on by Tate. This time, Stanger was the man who set it up. And look at this, showed the man the inside, got the ball down. Stephen Bell, good transfer. Gary Leslie, well done. Elsa need this quickly. Bell winkles it out. Van Rensburg, David Humphreys, Humphreys, good cover. This is Mark Flair. Flair for an Ulster try. Will this turn the game round? It'll certainly help. Quick thinking by Ulster all the way down the line. Great work by the halfback, Stephen Bell, and a great finish by Big Mark Blair. Van Rensburg popped it to Humphreys. Now, Humphreys got past the first tackle and did very well to release it. And look at Blair, loads of pace from the fella. Not the tallest second row in the world, but very agile and knew his way straight to the line. Ulster desperate to conjure up something of Van Rensburg. A nice little shimmy. David Humphreys covering well far out. And he did splendidly to keep that ball alive. The try was scored. And now it's Simon Mason with a conversion to close the gap to five points. Mason... Another good kick for him. It's now Edinburgh 18 and Ulster 13. And there's more than a quarter of this game to go. And here's how Blair finished it off. Brian Redpath couldn't get to him. And big Blair in at a canter. Scrum has slewed round. There goes McKinty. This is support from Ward. That's nicely done. That was topping. There's Van Rensburg. Van Rensburg so strong. Takes three men to haul him down. He must hold on. That was good work by Murray. Not allowing the man to release. Now, decision time for David Humphreys. Plenty of time. Three points here would be uh, close the gap to five, and then Ulster have the chance of winning the game. Simon Mason from dead in front. And right between the posts. Edward 21, Ulster 16, 15 minutes to go. Across comes Lang. He's got Stanger with them. There's Cunningham. Bit of hesitation. None from Van Rensburg. Down goes Lang, there's a foot going in. Chammers, misses out Tate. This is Sinclair, the danger man. Interception by Coulter! Interception by Coulter! Nobody's going to get little Shelly Coulter! Extraordinary!
That's for Ulster back on level terms, and the kick is to come. And are we going to see Ulster pull this one out of the fire? Well, Edinburgh won it well. It was red path to Chalmers. They made the miss move in the middle. He couldn't do it again, the flanker. He had a show at the ball, and he gave it right into the hands of Sheldon Coulter. And the man who's uh, deputised for James Topping has more than justified his recall to the side. Wonderful try. Conversion to come. Will it be enough? Happy, smiling Ulster faces. Simon Mason has popped it over. Two minutes of injury time played. Last chance, perhaps, for the Reavers. This is Mayer. Lying, wonderful tackle in the centre of the park. Penalty against Ulster. Now, is this kickable? Is this kickable? Well, a lot of fingers crossed as the afternoon gets colder and the chill descends and the silence descends. And it's all eyes on Craig Chalmers. And Craig Chalmers' eyes are first of all on the posts and then on the ball. And can he put the ball between the posts? And the answer is no. Ulster will let that go. And it's all over. Craig Chalmers, head in hands. I thought the referee would have played longer. And Ulster have pulled it out of the fire. Greg Chalmers, well, he couldn't be faulted, but he missed it right at the end. And Ulster have won a truly remarkable game and have finished top of Group C in the European Cup with nine points and on a final extraordinary scoreline that reads Edinburgh Reavers 21 and Ulster 23.